the gnarliest cooking vlog around and this week we have something really photogenic like everything else in the green mini but this one's super photogenic so look forward to it and so for this amazing dish you will need uh, some beetroot so either three small ones or two that are like this and you need an onion and garlic mint and dill and maybe some parsley I guess and oh yeah three quarter cups of uh, barley or maybe farro if you've heard of it that's very nice too and you need some broth vegetable or chicken broth or something and then we're gonna top it off with some crushed crushed not crushed walnuts and sour cream and more herbs and maybe some goat cheese or feta cheese or awesome things and if you didn't read the title by the way we're making beetroot risotto which is pretty gnar so the first thing we want to do is we're going to cut up our beets and we're not going to do it like that. We're just going to cut it up into smallish pieces without getting stuff on the countertop because it's very stain worthy. And yeah, pieces kind of like that. And you want to cut all of them in. And then you're going to put them into a pot. Turn that on about medium or so and it takes about 20 minutes total. And in the meantime, we're going to be productive and instead of randomly killing time, we're going to make the rest of the risotto. And also I forgot to mention when I listed all the ingredients at the beginning, you also need mushrooms because mushrooms make this gnar. Forgot about the and now, like we always do on the green mini, we're going to season the pan. Well, like we always do when we use the pan, we don't always use the pan. And we're going to put some oil on, maybe some nice olive oil or something. And then spread it around with a paper towel so you have a thin layer in the bottom, you don't have to coat everything lard. The green mini way. Yay. Now cut up an onion and a few cloves of garlic like a boss. And then once you've chopped up your onions and garlic, you're going to put them in the pan. And if it's, oh yes, but first you have to wait and make sure that the pan is hot. Otherwise, you'll have a very unsatisfying knot sizzle when you put it in the pan. But if it's hot enough, it should make a nice sound. And that should only take a few minutes. In those few minutes, you can wash and chop some boss mushrooms because those are going to go in after these are nicely browned. And once we've had a few minutes with the onions, we are going to add some chicken or vegetable stock. And then we are going to have our pro barley or um, farro. And chopped mushrooms. The barley will take about 15 minutes to become soft and remember that you still have your beetroots going so if that's been 20 minutes you want to turn it off or 25 minutes maybe depending on how firm you want it and also it's going to cook a little longer after you put it in here and in those 15 minutes you need to make sure that this doesn't burn but you can also play with cloning yourself. Yaja. It's time to add the beets. You can go ahead and turn that off. And if you need more liquid in your risotto, you can go ahead and add the liquid. That makes it really... Ew. It makes it look really nice. And any extra liquid you can save for uh, special effects in a horror movie. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take about a quarter of the beets and put them aside. And we're going to put them in a food processor, Mababa. And then the rest of the chopped beets you can just add to the actual thing. And yeah, we'll see what happens to these beets later. And now, as you can see, it has turned very photogenic, but it's not finished yet. It's going to become even more photogenic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get out a good bunch of parsley, mint, and dill. And then we're going to chop them up and add most of it. And the rest of it we'll save for putting on top because that makes it real good. And yeah. So we're going to put in some vinegar. About maybe a few tablespoons, two or three tablespoons. Wine vinegar, not normal vinegar. That might not be as good. And you're going to put in your herbs. Again, leave some so that you can put some on at the end. That should be good. And then the beets that are in here, we're going to puree them and then add that to the mix and then it'll look even more awesome. Just wait and see. And along with that, you might want to put a tablespoon or two of sour cream to give it a nice color that isn't so deep red, but kind of like a nice looking kind of red. 
but yeah I'll show you what it should look like at the end and then all you gotta do after you've mixed everything together maybe you'll let it sit for a few more minutes to let the flavors all kind of soak in and then you're gonna put it on a plate and then put the herbs on top and then maybe some ground walnuts and um, some goat or feta cheese low fat or fat free and another dollop of sour cream and it should look very nice and that was green beanie 71 for you if you haven't already noticed my sound has like gone so that's why I'm dubbing over but anyway you should subscribe to my channel where yes you can click there and subscribe to it because every recipe posted every week healthy gnarly and made like a boss and don't forget my other channel where I do other things like snowboarding because snowboarding is really, really awesome I hope you have noticed that already and yeah stick around stay gnarly and bye for now yeah whatever it is I'm doing bye for now